feedback is a really amazing way to bring underperforming staff up to the, the required performance level. I've noticed that here in China there's sometimes a bit of an expectation from leaders that the people under them are really good mind readers, that they're able to just know what they're supposed to do and do it. And if they don't, then they're not suitable employees. I'll give you an example. I have a friend of mine who's in consulting. I was having coffee with her the other day, and I knew that she had had some new team members come on uh, for her project. So I asked her about that, and she said, I said, how's, how's, the, uh, how's the new staff member? And she said, oh my God, one of them is just awful. <laughs> okay, tell me, why is this person awful? And she said, you know, every report, so he does this interview with a client, and he's supposed to write a report for me, and I need to take that report and consolidate it into one master report. Every single time I read his report, it's always missing information. It's missing absolutely the key information that I need is missing from this report. I said, okay. And she said, it does it every single time. Okay. Me being a coach and a trainer, I wanted to know, and I asked, did you talk to this employee about it? Did you give him some feedback and help him to clarify what the expectation was? She said, no, of course not. He's in a professional company. He comes from a professional background. He has a degree from the U.S. He should know exactly what's expected of him. He should know how to write this report. I said, okay. All right. I said, I, I want you to picture this. I want you to, to envision this uh, scenario. You are in a bowling alley, and you are about to, to bowl. Okay. As soon as you let go of the, the bowling ball, the lights go out, and you can't see anything. And you hear some pens fall. And a voice says, okay, good, you've knocked some pens down, but there's still some standing. Please knock the rest down. I'll be back in a few hours to check on you. The lights stay out. And you continue to bowl. When this person gets back, they turn on the lights, you notice the pins that are missing, and they say, you're a horrible bowler, get out. This story is an example from Ferdinand Fournier, uh, in one of his books about, uh, about management. And I really liked it for my, for my friend, and I think it really helped her, because she said, oh, okay, yeah, 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 I, I should probably have some words, give him some feedback, and tell him what he's doing, uh, and correct his performance. So she did. She went back, had a couple meetings, gave the person some feedback, and sure enough, very productive. He's a smart individual. He wanted to perform. He just didn't know what her expectations were and wasn't receiving any feedback, so didn't have any idea how he should, uh, how he should make his reports better. So I think that's really important for everyone to remember is that feedback is very important because most of our employees really want to do a good job. They're really motivated and they really want to, to be successful. But sometimes when we don't give them the feedback, we don't help them to understand what they're doing um, wrong or what they could be doing differently, we, we find that they end up failing and we ended up you know, losing a good employee because we weren't taking the time to give them that feedback.